far and wide representing their countries like Colombia's David Ospina who last started a Premier League game one year minus one week ago Petr Cech still out with a calf injury picked up at West Brom all of the back four away with their countries too but only Laurent Koscielny who turned out twice for France got on the pitch in senior internationals Alex Oxley, chamberlain and Aaron Ramsey returned with injuries from their international game so Francis Coquelin gets back in the side after being benched at West Brom and so too does Meza Ozil who proved his fitness with an appearance for Germany neither Theo Walcott nor Manchester born Danny Welbeck involved with England over the past couple of weeks Willie Caballero faces Arsenal for the first time since making his debut against them in the Community Shield in 2014. Jesus Navas for Yaya Toure is Pep Guardiola's only change from the draw against Liverpool. That's because Kevin De Bruyne, who missed Belgium's internationals with a groin problem, is fit to return for his club, as is Raheem Sterling, who came off for England against Lithuania with a sore back. to a slip Sterling and it rebounds off Raheem Sterling but he would have known from his angle it wasn't going in we couldn't be quite so sure up here it's a long way away looking for Welbeck and another deflection and this time a more dangerous one to the uh, Sane chasing he's got the better of Bayerin Sane around the goalkeeper and gives to Manchester City a lead inside five minutes Simple for City, really. And Arsene Wenger will be absolutely furious. And it won't help the mood in the stadium, that's for sure. Walcott. Still Walcott. He smuggled it in. And Arsenal are level. That road to recovery gets a little longer, a little wider. Comes out to David Silva. Now Aguero. City are back in front. Sergio Aguero found the angle. It's a hammer blow to Arsenal, having worked so hard to get level. Mm -hmm. Mustafi going towards it. He got it. And Arsenal have leveled again.